I can't believe we made it. Are the people nice here? Nobody will attack us here, Hugo. This town is under the protection of the Count of Provence. He's a very powerful lord. I must say, this is beautiful. Are you sure the alchemist is waiting for us? Well, Magister Vaudan told me he'd prepared a house for us. An entire house? Yes. The order is very old. They own houses and much, much more. They built your mother's laboratory, and even the Chateau d'Ombrage, remember? Yes. It's nice they give us a house. That's because you're very important to them. Would His Majesty allow us to enter the city by his side? I allow. Take a quick look with him. Thank you. The house is in the upper part of town. It has a phoenix weather vane. Understood. And be very careful. Find anything you like? I like everything here. <laughs> Come, there must be plenty of other things to see. Where do we start? Well, what do you want to see? Everything! We'll try. <laughs> so good. Hey, come on. Try a little piece. Go on. Oh, yum. <laughs> you like it? Yes. But it's not piggies, right? Um, come on. Let's go see the rest. Yes. before you ask for more. Hey, 
ye, hear ye! The Count Victor of Arles welcomes you all to the yearly fair of St. John. Enjoy goods from our region and beyond at the market. Make deals at our fish auction and try your skills in a free session of a shooting game. Tomorrow's event is the long-awaited cow fair. Get ready to overbid. The Count Victor of Arles wishes you all an excellent St. John's Fair. I should check that stand. Our stocks are getting low. This year's fair is even bigger than last year's. I need a new dress. <laughs> a cheap one. That's a lot of fish. We can come back with Mother to buy food for dinner. Oh, yes. We'll buy plenty. The fish auction's starting soon. Aren't you going? No. I'm here for the big cattle show tomorrow. here. They're smiling. Uh, <laughs> it's true. Oh, look up there. The house with the weather vane. That's ours. Oh, right above the market. Yes. The view will be amazing. Brushes and combs from Firenze. Try them. Look at these colours. Look at these colours. Gorgeous reds and yellows. My lady, why not change your hairstyle? Thank you, but I like it like this. Ah, oh, good for you. A woman's hair is her righteous crown. Beautifully said. The hair is nice like that. Well, thank you, sir. Here. I had a closet like that in my room. I like to hide in it. <laughs> oh, this wine. A present for your father, maybe. He's dead. But he loved this wine. Well, he was a very fine man then. He was. Thank you. Look, 
flowers. Aromatic herbs, balms, ointments. Oh, marigolds, primroses. Oh, you know your herbarium. Only flowers. My mummy taught me. We kept them in a book at home. Do you want to buy flowers then? Thank you, but we like to pick them in the wild. Shall it's our thing. I understand. Enjoy. Yes. Come. Let's see the rest. Sure. Shoes, sandals, underwear. Nothing for Sunday. Fresh fish from Corsica. Caught this morning. Every four crates gets your fifth for free. Yeah, this mackerel's so fresh he's flapping his fins. Tune up, sardines right off the boat. Check my wares, nicest trousers around. Loots, the finest. Must be dragons. A man dragon! Exactly. I'm sure Lucas could spit fire too. Of course. He's, He's perfidious. It's free! A gift to our visitors from the Count of Arl! A game? What do you say, lady? You look like a winner. She is. <laughs> All right, so how do we play this? You get four shots to knock down as many cups as you can. Got it? I'm in. Ready? Like the fair back home, Amicia. Easy. Go! <laughs> yes! That was close. Keep going. You hit a lot. Of course I did. What did you expect? You're our best player today. And you didn't even use your sling. I think we have to get going. Thank you. Goodbye, sir. Is the cattle fair still on? We should be there already. I heard they have some sick animals over there. Oh, we better wait then. Roasted pig! Wow! Their souls are huge! Let's have a look. Giant? <laughs> no, 
You're just tiny as all. <laughs> I'm not tiny. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're right. These are giant sores. <laughs> <laughs> you see, sir? <laughs> all right. Oh, tiny, but quite the character. That's pretty. I'd like to jump in it. <laughs> Maybe not right now. It looks like there's no more fair this way. Fresh spinach from a nearby village. Yuck! How can people eat that? Don't you like the way Mother cooks it? It does something strange to my teeth. <laughs> True. Bigger and warmer. You're looking at the best smithy in the region. He must be sweating so much. <laughs> That's for sure. There's so many people. Do they all live here? The merchants come from far and wide. Let's go see our house. It should be right up here. Oh, we can share my room if you want. Don't you want your own? Mm, I don't know. But that way we could invite each other to our rooms. Yes. I love this place. <laughs> Me too. I'll see you after my watch, all right? You sure? They keep you on duty all the time. I know. That's just how it is since the Count gave the Captain more power. Shoulders, all right? Oh, yes, please. Here we go. You're feeling all right up there? Yes, I can see everything. Yay! <laughs> yeah! Seems to 
know about the bad things. Bad things? Everything that's happening outside. I think they do know. They just feel safe here. You will too. Hey, I'm going to put you down for a bit. <clears throat> Let's pick up the pace. Yes. I can't wait to see the house. I wonder how big it is. I just hope they have real beds. I hope I can see the market from my room. A king's room, of course. Of course. <laughs> Someone's had a long day. You're back. So how was it? They've got everything. <laughs> it's true. We'll have to go back all together. Sure. We need some fresh herbs. Look at that. I think we can call it home. Yes. Home. I haven't said that word in a while. I'm glad we came. <sighs> and I think someone needs to take a nap. I'm not tired. <laughs> sure. Let's go see inside. This is our door. Ooh. It looks quiet. And it's less hot here. It's nice. Ready to come inside? Yes, lead the way. We're home, Hugo. Our new home. Let's take a look around. Mm. Yes. All right, we'll do that later. Mother, where's Hugo's room? He's exhausted. Upstairs, the bed is ready. Thanks. Come on, you sleepy beast. Come, Amicia. Come where? The island. You'll be healed there too. Healed? Well, that would be nice, I'm sure. It will be. You're thinking too much. Sometimes it's better just to trust your feelings. I'm trying, but I... I get stuck in the logic of it. Substances obey natural law. The macula does too. You don't need logic, Lucas. You just need to be human. Maybe... <sighs> I'm just not very good at being human. You are. This is why you have doubts. Today must have woken it. We had six months of respite after he passed the second threshold. But the balance of his blood is very delicate. Amicia, go with Lucas. Magister Vaudan is somewhere in this town. Find him and tell him to come quickly. Right away. Amicia. I know. We'll be careful.
It's because of those farmers. I should never. Oh. It's not your fault. How can you be so sure? You can't control what happens in his blood. The macula keeps evolving, pushing the carrier through different thresholds. Will this Magister Vodan really help? The Order has been studying the macula for centuries. If they can't, I don't know who can. Lord, protect him. Why hasn't Vodan shown up already? I think he's just being discreet. The Order works like this. Someone must know about him. Let's ask around. Here, a town guard. I'll ask him. Uh, hello? Excuse me. Would you know the whereabouts of Magister Vaudin? Uh, I've heard of a Sir Vaudin, not a Magister. Try the marketplace. There's a couple of florists there. I think they deal with him from time to time. Thank you. Good. That's a start. I should have known. Of course he doesn't go by his order's title publicly. We came by the florist earlier. It's somewhere around this marketplace. Hello again. Oh, it's you. Looking for flowers for the little one? Actually, I'm looking for Sir Vaudin. I believe he's one of your clients. He's my husband's client. He's the one who deals in medicinal herbs. Oh. But Morton should be right by the fountain. Just tell him I sent you. He's wearing a brown tunic. Brown tunic. Thank you for your help. Let's hope he tells us. He will. Excuse me, sir. Your wife sent us? Now, what does she want now? I'm busy cleaning this mess. It's not for her. We must find Sir Vodan. Him? But he doesn't like to be bothered. Just like me. Listen, my brother is very sick. We need him immediately. Oh. All right, all right. I don't know precisely where, but I think he lives close to the arena, down there. Don't tell him I sent you. Don't worry. Thank you. Right, let's not waste time. The arena district. That's a lot of houses. How are we going to find him? There's mischief in the air. I can feel it. Yes. That's why I keep the children inside. It's a slum. The order's not poor, so what would a magister be doing here? Probably hiding? Probably. Amicia, that symbol on the wall. The order? Yes, he's in here. No one gets in. The arena is off limits. Why is that? Because the Count of Provence said so. Get going, please. Listen, I really need to pass. It's all right. Come. We'll go around the arena. <sighs> Now's not the time to argue with soldiers. Let's look around. You're right. Sorry. There's a door up there. Yes. So, ready to break the law? Come on.
Is it? The bite, yes. They've locked the arena down. They let them die here. It's starting all over again. Not starting. Spreading. Hugo. We brought it here. Let's find Magister Voda. If he's not dead already. I can't believe they left him to rot here. These people look poor. They must be from the slum outside. How come nobody noticed their disappearance? Maybe nobody cares. Maybe. Symbol. Well, let's get in then. You think the symbols will lead to him? Yes. Look, an opening up there. There must be a way to climb up. This could help. I'll give you a hand. If Odan's here, he's in trouble. He knows the bite. He must be avoiding the sick. Lucas. If all these people here were bitten, it means... <gasps> Maybe not. A sick person could have brought it inside the city. time in the world. Just talk to me. That brute is not a soldier. He's dressed as one. <sighs> not a single coin. No. How many are there? Oh, man. If I find him, I could ask for a reward. Amicia, he'll see us. I'll make him move. Thank that bastard count for letting you die like a dog. Damn, that's an ugly death.
It stinks. What the hell? Inside. Let's find something to get up there. <laughs> Quick! It. It's a massacre. We brought it here. We condemned them. It's still going on in Guyenne. It's already spreading. Yes, but they would have seen it coming. It wouldn't have changed a thing. dead already. Like it's one step ahead of us. Yes, but none of them look devoured. Look, I think they were keeping count of the dead. They left a knife. It's stuck. 
Come on. No. Well, let's keep going. Through there. You don't use blades against people. I did. I had no choice. A blade is silent and quick. It's what we need now. All right. It's up to you. Look over there. Another symbol. Good, but... Lucas, if these people fell ill, it means... some must have been bitten. I've seen no signs of attack. Not yet. Anyway, let's go. when he arrives.
I'm here looking for a damn alchemist. We find a musk grave. But it's fine. Let's just stay here waiting for death. to Arno while we're empty-handed when he arrives. my time. You sleeping? Come on, get up. Man down! We've got intruders! Camp soldiers can't find a damn thing. Shoot 
Mercenaries, all the bloody scum that keeps getting in our way. Chaos rules our lives. They're part of it. And you're getting better at handling them. I see it. You were pretty discreet back there. Well, better to let live and not risk dying myself. You smell that? Dead bodies. What is this place? A hospital.
I think they used to live here. No wonder they all fell ill. <sighs> I can't get used to it. You don't have to. 